On a Saturday afternoon in Morgantown, the fans coming into the Coliseum know that a tough stretch of road has left little room for the West Virginia Mountaineers to maneuver, but they'll need a course correction to bolster their postseason hopes. They hope to be back on the straight and narrow today in Morgantown when they host the Kansas Jayhawks. She's out there just to set screens, doesn't look maybe comfortable shooting from that range. And that's exactly what Kansas wants to do. Thomas hits the three from the corner. Stevens was one of those players that was not in the first matchup with these two teams. Lob down to Norris, and Norris with a nice catch in the finish. Martin in trouble. Goes to Nyblack. Forced to shoot, and Nyblack will hit. And again, that's the shot that could open up her whole offense, you think. You get it inside. You kick it back out. You make the extra pass. You just can't down, knock down a shot. Here's Mitchell from three-point range, and she hits in the waning moments of this three. first quarter. Nicolaio. Stevens dumped down inside. And Merriweather. A shot over the top of Nyblack. 15 in the shot clock. Nyblack spins. Oh, beautiful move by Kari Nyblack, who got knocked in the nose there, it appears, towards the end of that play. 10 in the shot clock. Smith, three-pointer. And Madison Smith hits a big three for the Mountaineers. We'll have Pirates baseball coming for you at 1 o'clock. Five on the shot clock. Dean's three-point attempt, and it's good. Nyblack like, kicks Martin, and Tiny Smart hits the three-pointer. Martin, oh, Tiny Smart is feeling it now. Third lead change of the game. Mountaineers up 24-22, but again, a short-lived lead as De Carvalho gets the wide-open layup on the other end. I would have a feeling her truth is maybe different than some right. other people's <laughs> truths. Yeah, she's a hard-nosed player. Here's Deans now back the other way and drives it on Mitchell and converts and now a game high five point lead for the Mountaineers up 32 to 27. Franklin and Thomas and Kerr Skeeter in there as well really ready to turn the corner as we see Kerr Skeeter on cue hitting the three pointer. 31 percent from three point land uh, so you think if she got two opportunities she's going to knock one of them down. And Franklin now a chance for a three point play draws the contact from Lucky Rudd. Martin pulls. Tiny Martin hits the three-pointer for the Mountaineers. Bria Holmes for third all-time. And if she sticks to her average, oh, beautiful move by Nyblack. You know, the last few games have probably hurt her. She would be probably a little closer in that margin as of right now. Man, that was a deep three. Good Carvalho from way downtown. Perhaps if she gets hot, maybe uh, the Mountaineers have some extended time in the postseason. She could possibly wind up second all time. Less than 17 minutes a game. Very, very efficient rebounding numbers. Oh, beautiful hesitation move by Madison Smith. Oh, she just threw that up there and it went in. And I've seen it too much to think that, oh, she's throwing up there and it goes in. Man, talk about throwing it up there and going in, but yeah. it looked nice to <laughs> take a bio again. Franklin, pretty move right down the middle. Smith kicks Martin three, and it is good for Tiny Smart. The Big 12 tournament, and when they went on to win the championship. I mean, I've never seen a player with such dominance. Deficit for Kansas. As Franklin is a pretty move in the left hand finish. She's left handed, but a nice finish there. Franklin kicks Thomas three pointer, and it is good for Anaya Thomas. And the Mountaineers will come up with their 16th victory of the season. Good effort from a young Kansas Jayhawks team, but the Mountaineers improving to 16 and 7 with the victory today. 60 to 53 is the final.